have been an actor and you're now currently a producer. Uh, would you become a director someday? Actually, yeah. Um, I don't want to become a director, but there, there's one movie that 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 I've been trying to direct for many, many years, and hopefully we'll be doing it in the next year. It's just a small little family drama, mm -hmm. but very, very, very beautiful, very minimal, very much like not not like Asher, but uh, small and and uh, more feeling, more style and substance. Uh, hace poco has hecho una coproducción cubana en Málaga. Yo quiero saber si te gustaría hacer una película protagonizada o hecha en España. Look, I, I just love making movies, and what I've found out because I've now made movies on six and a half continents um, is that it's a, it's one of those things that's international spoken the same in, in every culture, the, the language of cinema. You make movies the same in Spain as you do in Cuba, as you do in Iceland, as you do in Africa. You know, movie making is movie making. What fascinates me is forming alliances with people who have original approaches to storytelling. And um, of course, you know, be, being, being privileged enough to, to to be welcomed into a culture like Spain as an artist and, <laughs> and, 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 and to be thought of as a collaborator would be a dream, like, 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 like it would be to, for any um, beautiful place that I've always dreamt about spending time in. I've never spent enough time in Spain. I've never been to San Sebastian. I've never been to Sevilla. I, my knowledge of Spain is, is limited to Madrid and Barcelona and now Sitges. Talking about fantastic creatures, you, sh you said yes to Hellboy twice. Uh, would you be bothered if, like, when my son has my age, he types uh, Ron Pelman and, you know, the big figure to be remembered is Hellboy? I have no problem with that. <laughs> I have no problem with anything your son does. <laughs> Not born yet, but he's on the way. But uh, <laughs> no, Even better. Yeah, but um, why you said yes to this kind of character? And why you, you, right now we're talking to heroes, but this is a superhero. You'd have to be insane to say no to an opportunity <laughs> like that. I keep reminding myself, um, some days, you know, putting on the makeup was six hours before I ever got a chance to get on the set and actually play the role. And people say to me, that must have been really difficult. And I went, no, I'm a hellboy. I mean, you know, who in their right mind wouldn't want to be fucking Hellboy? You know? <laughs> Your character in Sound of Anarchy uh, has some kind of power of boycott when a decision has to be made. So, should you have this power in real life, what would you do? Really, really well. <laughs> for example? In America, for example. New president. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> You announced you wanted to be president. <laughs> well, I, mo I, I was moral announcing I just didn't want this guy to be president. No. That's why? You announced it? Uh, I, I can't stand him. He's, he's a blemish on the world. He's a pimple on the asshole of humanity. <laughs> Anna, are you going to go through? Me? Yeah. In this political career? I, mean. I think in 2020 I'll be making help. I'll be making Asher 3. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo siempre que pienso en Ron Pelma me viene a la imagen la, la figura de un hombre grande, de un hombre rudo. Esta, esta figura de, de, de hombre duro la ha condicionado a la hora de, de obtener papeles o por contra le ha servido como una, como una manera de obtener oportunidades. Well, I definitely don't play small guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it, it's I'm stuck with with this physicality, so. Uh, but I've been very, very blessed with playing big guys who have a soft spot for little guys who can't fight for themselves or can't speak for themselves or have been victimized by their vulnerability. That, you know, I get to play characters that champion the, the underdog, that, that, are, that are there for, for uh, those less powerful and, and imbued with strength than he is. So that's using the limitation of my, my, my size 
to a good advantage because it, 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 it reveals a kind of a heart that is uh, in juxtaposition to, to, to somebody that looks invulnerable mm -hmm. but somebody who understands vulnerability and who is moved by vulnerability and weakness and, and uh, becomes a champion of that.